Hi there, Julian Schutze here from Blood and Iron Martial Arts. No Jane or Elise, you just got me today, and I'm here to review the Leon Paul Hard Shell Back of the Head Protector. So we're going to start off with the first impressions. Out of the box, uh, I was actually missing a piece. Uh, this comes with a little bit of a liner in the back. Leon Paul was pretty quick on sending me one out back though. Otherwise, the plastic seems pretty hard and durable. It seemed pretty good out of the box, but th th that's where the good things kind of ended. So for things I like, the concept is really good. Uh, I've received a couple mild concussions from strikes specifically to the back of the head. So at this point, and now I'm looking to definitely beef up my protection for my noggin. Uh, so this seemed like a good choice. It's, it was a relatively new product. Leon Paul announced it fairly recently, and I do have one of their masks, the, uh, the coaching mask for HEMA, and uh, it seemed like a good bet. Then that's, um, that's about where the list ends. I got a lot of problems with this thing. So for things I don't like, there's quite a few. Uh, first of all, they mentioned that with this adjustable back strap, it completely removes the actual cup on the back of the mask. For those unfamiliar with the way Leon Paul masks are constructed, you've got this little plastic cup with straps that attach to the back of the head. Uh, I personally really like this system way more than others. I find it way more comfortable. But when they ask you to remove that completely and uh, replace it completely with the inline padding. It just it doesn't actually fit on your head at all I've tried every single configuration to bring this piece forward back up down It just it doesn't fit the amount of time I could probably move my head back into the mask maybe a, a couple inches Which means it's just unsafe. It's it, it doesn't fit which is a major issue just clarifying a couple things here in post Yes, I did set it up correctly. I based it entirely off the picture that they show on their website, and it just doesn't work. I mean, take a look at this one. See how far back that back liner goes into the back of the head protector? There's just so much space for your head to move around in. I don't understand how this is considered safe. So then I thought to myself, okay, I'm going to ignore this concept. I'm going to put this piece back on. So I did. Uh, and then it seemed to fit relatively okay. Um, there is another big issue in terms of the overall fit, and that's the actual strap you have to purchase in addition to this. Uh, I have no qualms with this with the strap. It actually it's pretty cool. You can just it's magnetized, so you can clip it from any angle. So for about 15 bucks with this kind of technology, I don't have a problem with that. However, the odd thing is that you had they mentioned at the bottom of the page that you needed to have this strap when purchasing this product which I found a little odd. Why would you require an essential piece for the product and not include it or make it you know, more obvious? Anyway, so the problem with the actual strap is that it's, it's not long enough. The amount of times, in order to make it fit, this little tab, it's, just, it's almost at its complete end. There's just almost no way that this can fit. So when I tried, I think I tried about six times in a row to put this on. What would end up happening is I'm trying to get uh, this piece in to fit, but then it would simply come off because it's already at the very end of the strap. So that was very difficult and frustrating to try and put on overall. And once again, you can see that I'm not doing anything particularly wrong. The picture on the website also shows there's very little space on the strap. And then with the overall issue, with this collar, when wearing a jacket, when you lift up the shoulders to go to a high guard for both two-handed and one-handed, it actually pushes the overall ensemble up, which does two things. For the front, it actually creates a giant gap between the mask and the back of the head, which you know could very easily let a sword thrust right in there. So with that amount, of space both here and in the overall mask. When a thrust goes in there and a sword jams the mask back, you're gonna get waffled to hell and back. It's it's just completely unsafe. It's it's actually not usable. So and then to you know to kind of make it worse, when it does lift up because of the jacket, it won't settle back down properly. When this thing is actually on the mask correctly, it works. Uh, I've taken a couple test smacks to it, and aside from it being extremely loud, it worked. However, it's unusable because the jacket just pushes it up, and then it won't settle back correctly on the mask. And I just, I don't, I would never feel safe 
accepting a strike or a thrust to the back of the head if it doesn't secure itself properly back on my mask. Additionally, this product will only fit very specific Leon Paul masks and only large sizes. So if you don't have a large, you're out of luck. All right, so how to make this product better overall? Uh, the concept is absolutely great. I think hard shell back of the head protection is definitely the way to go in the future. But just the way this is designed, it needs a complete overhaul. Uh, I think one of the main issues is the fact that it's only attached to the main mask via this little piece of Velcro, and the fact that it goes over top the overall structure, which means any movement of the actual piece will just completely dislodge it from the mask. I think it needs to go on the inside, but I don't design these kinds of things, so I don't really know what's needed. All I know is that it's needed. Additionally as well, the strap needs to be longer. It's just, it's not nearly large enough to be able to fit around this. And when I emailed them about the length of the strap, they said this was the standard length. So I don't, I don't understand how that went by testing. It, it just needs to be longer. A couple more things I wanted to add in post here. I mentioned before that it only fits large masks, but here's the issue. Um, very often when you have a fencing mask, it won't fit your head 100%, but you can, you know, move it around a little bit so you can squish it, you can lengthen it just to fit your head a little bit better. Uh, they particularly state on the website and even provide a video to demonstrate the fact that in order for this to fit even better or perfectly, it has to be default mesh shape. So if you've ever had to bend the mesh around a little bit to fit your head better, you're also out of luck. This is definitely a product of the fact that this fits over top of the mesh and not underneath or integrated in some other kind of way. Another interesting little tidbit that I found on the website is nowhere does it actually mention that it protects against strikes. It only mentions it increases your protection against thrusts which I find a little ironic considering the biggest issue with this is that it creates a gap to become injured by a thrust. Just thought this one was quite bizarre and probably worth sharing. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any other products that you might want to see, leave it down in the comments. We'll see what we can do about reviewing those for you. Bye-bye now.